live stream I'm doing ever. Uh, I'm gonna try to do these on a regular basis now on this channel. Whew, I'm gonna be working on this. <coughs> of course nobody's in here, <laughs> cause this is the first time I've ever doing it. So I'm just trying it out. And like I said, I wanna do this like maybe every day at 6 p.m. Uh, uh, Pacific time. So let me just talk about really quick what I'm working on. This is a small sketchbook, really tiny sketchbook I got like, I wanna say, um, a friend of mine gave it to me as she was moving out and she's like, oh, do you wanna take some of this uh, extra art junk? And I was kinda like, okay, why not? I'm taking it. Uh, so I, I decided to be like, okay, I'll, I will take this uh, crummy sketchbook and try to make something of it. So I started drawing <clears throat> Carnotaurus here, which is my favorite dinosaur, along with uh, kinda like the skull behind it. And then I'm uh, gonna fill in the back here, kinda fell. I'm gonna fill in the back here with uh, pretty much just dark. And that's kind of more of the plan for that. So the other page I put, the other car another Carnotaurus, I based that on a, there's an action figure I have of it around here somewhere that I can't find. In my opinion, this one's a little bit too, I don't know how to say it, like the, the edges, I'm not digging the edges on this. It, there's just something a little bit really plain about it. Um, and I don't really find it very dynamic, and that's kind of what I'm going to try to do with this one, is try to make it a little bit more dynamic, and that's mostly my goal for this guy. Maybe I'll watercolor him, but I don't think this paper is going to take the watercolor, honestly. And then um, <clears throat> I got this right here. This is a Gigantosaurus. Wait, what's wrong with me? Sorry, this is a Megalodon. And uh, <laughs> same thing goes for the Megalodon. Like, he is an amazing shark, uh, but I don't really know how to make him not look like a regular... Um, a regular, uh, what do you call it? A, um, a regular great white. So the only way to make them not look like a regular great white is to put this scale over here, like human scale and, and you know, maybe like a, a normal great white in that image. And then over here on this one, I got a pterosaur. I forgot what type of pterosaur, but I wanted it kind of laid out this way. It still looks kind of messy to me. Like I'm still a little iffy about it. I don't, I don't know. I'm not really big on it. Um, and then I got this guy that I'm working on here with, uh, this pen, this, uh, you know, I believe it's just a, a form of ceratopsian. I don't remember what type. And, uh, that's kind of it. I have like the, the funny one there, my friend drew. So right now for this one, I'm going to fill this in. And at the same time, I'm going to kind of talk it out. Um, I don't really know how to take questions. That's another thing. Uh, Cause I'm still trying to get, I just jumped into this live thing. I don't know how to take questions. I have to figure that out how to do that stuff. Um, hopefully by the next one, I'm going to figure out how I can, um, you know, take questions from anybody and just kind of figure out what's happening. I'm only going to be on here for like 20 minutes right now and I'm going to fill this in and I'll just talk a little bit about drawing. If anybody cares about kind of, you know, the basics of drawing, uh, most of the people on this channel are people that are relatively new to drawing or have drawn a little bit as a hobby, right? And when you're drawing a little bit as a hobby, it tends to... Uh, like if you've been drawing as a hobby your whole life, it's a great thing to do, right? It's a great hobby to have, to draw. But sometimes, like some people, you get to this point where you're like, hey, I should become good, right? When you do it as a hobby, you're not going to become as professional as you could be uh, or as good as you could be because you're doing it every couple of months. I have a lot, almost all my close friends are like that. They do it once in a while. They'll do a really good piece every couple of months. And that's kind of it. In between that, they don't really draw. They don't practice. They don't really give any uh, sort of uh, kind of effort into kind of becoming like a consistently good artist. And uh, I, I try to address those people more. I try to address people who are beginners but actually want to do something with it, right? You really want to do portraits for your family. You really want to you know, draw dinosaur stuff like this. This You want to draw characters you like from movies. Um, it's probably one of the greatest feelings ever to be able to draw whatever you want. Like, when you're more or less like, uh, like if you watch a movie, like for example, I'll give you an example. Like, I love Ninja Turtles growing up. The fact that I drew this Ninja Turtle illustration uh, later was like, wow. You know, you can kind of more or less take what you want to do and just and just do what you want with it. Do what your vision is. Um, and there's there's great power in that. So 
I get it. So you want to make it there, right? You want to be able to just like draw some of the characters that you kind of grew up with. And I'm, I was in that same boat. Now it's more like I don't have time to do it, which is funny. Um, or I'd rather draw a dinosaur, but I am going to like, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to work on a, a um, a San, um, Metroid illustration. That's like the next thing I want to do. So Metroid is absolutely <clears throat> like a huge property. I just played the, um, Metroid, um, the Metroid video game. And I was like, man, I have got to make an illustration of this. Um, and you want to put your own spin on it. There's certain guys online and girls that have their own style, but they kind of like grew, they kind of did the basic thing that did their own style. So uh, I'll give you an example. There was a guy who, uh, I can't remember his name. I got to look up the name. It's on Instagram. He'll draw superheroes. Um, I'll try to get the name next time I bring up something like that. But he has, he'll draw Superman in his style. And he'll be like, oh, wow, that's Superman from this specific artist. It's not even like, the, to kind of design, I would. Sorry if I got my hand in the way there. I'm going to try to keep it out of the way. Sorry if I, um, <clears throat> you know, it's not even like the Superman, that, it's not even the coolest Superman, but it's like Superman in his drawing style. And I'm like, I can tell who drew it. And I kind of, there's a lot of cool, uh, there's a lot of cool things when it comes to that. It's like in, in unmistakably his, right? Some of the clothing, it's different. Right, some of the like uh, he draws like slender body types, um, and then sometimes just with the uh, it doesn't have to be the outfit or anything. It can be just the drawing style, <clears throat> the style itself. You can tell like if you ever look at like Jim Lee stuff, you can absolutely tell. Right, like Jim Lee did it. But let's go back to people who want to get better at stuff in general. Get want to get better at drawing that that really like you're like hey. I want to be an artist. Like, I want to, like, <clears throat> put stuff out on a regular basis. I, I want to uh, produce a lot. And I want to produce things I like. And for people like that, um, probably the number one thing you should do is get a sketchbook. Uh, I always say that. And I would say get a, two sketchbooks um, if you have an ego like I do. So, for example, if you... I'm wondering if I should, like, X out that line or not right here, there's this line right here, I'm not sure if I should do it. So like if you, for example, want to, uh, if you wanna get better, hold on, I'm trying to think of this. If, if you wanna get better, uh, if you have an ego per se, and you have a sketchbook, and you don't touch your sketchbook sometimes because you don't wanna draw a bad drawing in it, that's a really common thing, um, get two sketchbooks, that's what I did and I still do. I have one, sketchbook that I like. This is actually a third one, I guess. This is a mini one. But I do value the drawings here a lot more. But you want to get like a sketchbook where you're just experimenting. You're just drawing anything you want in it. Uh, and then a sketchbook where you really will do nice, finished, uh, careful things, right? You want to get those too. So uh, I, I would say like <clears throat> absolutely kind of take that route if you can, like do do the, um, like use the experimental sketchbook to just do whatever you want. And then if you mess up a page, who cares? You're not gonna show it to anybody. And then you have like the nicer sketchbook that you show to people. And um, doing that, you're gonna be surprised because the thing is, if you only have one sketchbook and you're worried about, um, <clears throat> and you're worried about making a horrible drawing in it and then having to get rid of it, um, that is bad, right? That that will prevent you from doing stuff that you want. Um, it's going to prevent you from practicing that day, and you don't want to be that way. So, but if you have that crummy one, you're going to practice no matter what. Think of it like a warm up. I always do that. Do a warm up drawing in like a crummy sketchbook. And the more you do that, that's going to help you out. Um, you know, ten time tenfold. You're going to be getting way more practice, way more, uh, <clears throat> way more drawing time than than uh, another one would. You know, uh, some other guy would. I wonder if the marker would work here. I'm a little worried, but I'm going to try the marker out here with you guys. Um, or like nobody's on here, but <laughs> like I said, I have to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to try to pick a streaming time and uh, I want to stream like constantly. I want to stream like every day if it's possible. I just don't know what time. Everybody does it in the morning and I'm like not an early bird at all. <clears throat> so I was thinking like maybe the afternoons, like, cause right now it's 6 PM, maybe like afternoons at six for an hour. 
I could probably swing that. Um, I could easily do that. I just don't know if like as many people get on at six in general. But I want to be able to come on here and just answer literally every single question people have regarding art, drawing, uh, you know, uh, any, anything about me, anything about, uh, you know, whatever it is. Um, see, like right now I can't see the chat. So if you're writing some of the chat, I won't even be able to see it. I can go back later right now, but I have to create a, um, I have to be able to see both and I don't know how to do that. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see how that goes. Going in here, and that's a little bit light. I'm using this brush pen right here. Uh, one of the, it's a Pentel. One of the best, best, best things you can do, by the way, is to get these Pentels so good. So good, oh my gosh, so good. Um, very forgiving, and they make things look just good. They make things look really good. Um, but yeah, let me go back to my um, art rambling there. So the idea is that you, you wanna get better, but you're not really sure. So, so I hear that a lot. I'm, I, you know, I want to get better at art. I want to do, you know, better things. Or I've been drawing for like a year and I am still terrible. Or like I've been drawing for 20, you know, 10 years and I still can't get past a certain thing. Whoa, how's this thing taking the paper? Hold on. Okay, it's not, it's gone good. Um, so number one, if you're kind of newish, number one, get that sketchbook. Like I said, draw on it every day. Get a crummy sketchbook you don't like. Draw on it every day, right? You hate most of your drawings in the beginning. I think I hated like almost every drawing I did the first year, <laughs> you know? Just do them. Don't cherish your drawings. Don't be like, oh, you know, don't baby them. Don't, 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 don't think of them as precious and you're going to be able to do a lot more uh, when you don't like, you don't consider them precious at all. This is like your practice, right? This is your training ground. Um, but for that, you need a crummy sketchbook. So just to reiterate on that. Um, gain control. That's the biggest thing. Uh, I swear I've seen people that have been drawing for 30 years and they don't have this, <laughs> but, and they can get it real easy. Gain control of your uh, utensils and stuff. So I'll give you an example real quick. I'm going to move this guy aside for real quick. And I say this a lot in a lot of videos. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So the first thing people tell me is like, oh, I got shaky hands. I see that a lot. I even heard that into like people that draw like for 10 years. Oh, I got shaky hands. What do I do? So if you're drawing something, right? Let's say I was drawing this guy and I had shaky hands, that whole thing, it would look like mush, right? The shaky hands thing, right? I'm gonna, I, it's even hard to make myself shake my hand. Actually, I'm gonna pick like a thicker marker, a thicker room. Some of this pops up more on camera, hold on. Well, okay, let me pick a marker just straight up. Like, I'm gonna use a marker here. So if I have shaky hands, right? You gotta, and I'm trying to shake it, I can't almost. You have this crummy line right? But it should have been like that. That's going to affect the whole drawing. The whole drawing is going to look kind of crummy if you do, if you have to really kind of be aware of that. So how do you gain control of your hand really fast, right? Exercises. Uh, um, you can go to my stuff, you can go to other people's stuff, but an exercise that I always do just to kind of like control your hand, number one, whoopsie daisy, is I do circles, you know, like circles like this. Boom. just a bunch of them. And if you look at my hand right now, I'm not doing, look at my hand, look what's different. I'm not like when you write, you're anchoring at the, um, you're anchoring with this part when you write, right? Like when everybody writes, you anchor with this. But when you draw, you don't want to anchor with that that much at all. You want to kind of move more at the elbow and the, the shoulder. See how this is kind of like floating over there? Oops, Daisy, all my junk is falling. Um, <clears throat> but you wanna be able to move. See how that's moving freely? I am using it as an anchor a bit, but I'm like moving, it's like moving. So you have this big range and it allows you to do stuff like much, like your, your range is so much better. Cause if I was trying to do that with like the hand, I guess I can kind of do that, but I'm right here, I'm like scrunching my fingers and I can still do it, but it's not, it's not proficient. So that's the first thing you gotta learn, do that. Always move it, move in a combination of your shoulder, elbow, and then just you're sliding your, your, you are anchoring with this, but you're kind of sliding it around. Right? Don't draw the way you write, because you write, you know, like with your anchor like this. All right, that's the first thing. And then you want to gain control in this position, because the first time you do this, it's going to be like, whoa, you know what I mean? It's going to be really crummy. 
and wacky. You want to do like a page of circles, both directions, like over here, clockwise and counterclockwise, and see if you can fit them in to each other. I know this seems like super basic and ridiculous, but that's, I still do that as a warm up because <laughs> it, it kind of wakes your arm, your hand up. But you do that and you start gaining control. That's one exercise. You can, there's a bunch, by the way. Uh, if you want to know more, go check it out. Uh, I'll try to link something in the description there. Um, I program entirely like on 10 exercises to just like, I'll, I'll teach you one more. So one more exercise is, um, let's, let's do a blank sheet of paper here. One more exercise is you put like a dot, let's say over here on one side of the page and a dot over here on the other side, right? And I'm gonna go right here and the idea is I'm gonna try to hit that point in one shot. Bam, see I went, I missed it, like right there. I'm gonna do it again, let me see. I'm gonna float above it just to kind of like practice it. Dang, see I'm like a little bit off, I'm like right there. And then I do another one, another one over here. I try to connect those dots in a different direction. That's exercise two. That, you're, you're gonna feel what I'm talking about where your hand's really gonna start gaining control over the time, you know? Um, see, even that, like I'm really close, but when you first do that, it's like way off, right? And if like I had coffee, I'm like way off or something like that, I don't really drink coffee. Um, <clears throat> but doing that stuff, um, really, really, if you, if you do that kind of stuff, like those 10 exercises I have on the thing, or even just those two, and you, you know, like I said, move it to shoulder. If you do that stuff for, let's say do a page of circles and a page of stuff like that, um, you're going to gain, uh, maybe do it for a month every day for a month. Cause it's fast, right? It takes like what? 10 minutes. Um, your control is going to go through the roof, like way through the roof. Um, and control is the first part of drawing anything like at least neatly, right? Um, then, you know, the, obviously comes the stuff like anatomy, the stuff you build on top of it, like value, shading, like the sun, what, you know, what direction things are coming from. Let me try to color this guy. What color does, should this guy be? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use marker to color this guy. <sighs> Let me see how dark this stuff is. How dark does it go down on here? Let me see, would that go? That might work right there, this, this orange. Uh, I just hope it doesn't like, well, all right, I'm gonna experiment. That's what this is for. So I might ruin it right here. So let's get started. That looks all right. I kind of dig that. So I kind of more. I should have made him blue. God dang it. Ah, whatever. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, control's the first thing, and people don't really, um, as far as I've seen, people don't even really talk about it. it. There's kind of what you know and how well you can put it down on paper, right? The how well you can do it, how well you can put it down on paper part, the part I was talking about, the control of your hand is so much easier than the other part. <laughs> like it's so much easier to achieve, right? I can get anybody to get rid of their shaky hand in like a month, in my opinion. But <clears throat> the anatomy part, that stuff's a little bit different. The style, uh, how you make certain lines, that that's all going to be a little bit different. So you have to kind of... Um, that's the kind of stuff you have to kind of learn, like book smart stuff, and then kind of apply it. And how do you apply it? Um, I can tell you what I'm working on right now. I'm working on digital uh, painting. I'm becoming a digital painter. And what I want to do is I would like to, um, there's this, when you do illustration, I might nerd out right now and people won't understand. But when you're doing illustration, you get to this point, maybe 90% into it, like an illustration, because I do a book cover sometimes. And uh, like fantasy book covers sometimes. And um, you'll get into it, and then it's like um, like 90% in, you're like, how do I finish it? <laughs> because they're just, you, you, you're, you're looking at it so hard, you're like, how do I take it the last 10% to a finish? And that's the part I'm like stumbling on right now, and I'm trying to figure out how to. Uh, I paid some other painter guy that was pretty good, and, uh, but he bailed, I don't know. People are so not reliable. Um, but what you want to do is you want to seek out like teachers, right? Someone who's like where you're at, but a little bit further ahead. And that's kind of what I did. I, I, I seeked out that guy. It's just that he's kind of hard to reach and annoying. This color's pretty good. I'm kind of digging it, to be honest. Uh, I'm kind of digging this color. Let's see, has it been, dang, it's only been 20 minutes. I think I'm going to stop it here because I got to go. I'm going to go roller skate right now. 
Oh man, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna still finish this part though. Let's see. Let's do the red tongue here. I would have made him more if I could go back. I would have made him more. Um, how do you say? I, I want to make him more. Um, <clears throat> more blue. I don't know why I picked like hot colors. I make I pick cold colors because I, I think cold colors are cooler, in my opinion. Let's go over here and do the tongue here real quick, and then I think I'm gonna bail after that. And I'll repost this up. It is done. Sweet. Um, I'm going to show you guys this when I'm done. Um, but right now I got to go. But thanks so much. Uh, I'm going to hit you guys up later on uh, for my first stream here. First on many. Talk to you later. Let me see how do I turn it. I don't even know how to turn it off. <laughs> Operation is locked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>